Hey everybody, don't forget Thursday, July 6th, 8 p.m. Eastern will be my live sale for everything in the video that you will see today. Go ahead and screenshot the above instructions and that will be how to purchase anything for tomorrow's sale. And it'll be a lot of fun. And don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell for all the notifications so you can go ahead and be notified for when the sale goes live. Thanks everybody. Hello everybody, welcome to my Thursday night live preview. And I hope that uh, everybody will like what I've got. I've got a lot of items that I wanna do in my live tomorrow. Um, there's, it's, it's been kind of a weird week and I think it's because of the holiday. So um, I've got a lot of items, so hopefully we can get through them okay and uh, everybody will like what they see. And I hope I see a lot of people at tomorrow night's live. So first thing though is actually going to be this box. Um, this box is absolutely gorgeous. I, at least I think it's gorgeous. <clears throat> Excuse me. God, I'm getting over this. Uh, I don't know. It's like this cough air quality thing. I don't know, but bear with me. I'm going to be kind of like <coughs> short of breath today, but, um, but yeah, isn't this just beautiful? It's like this mother pearl shell box and, uh, it's got this kind of like inlay on the sides. The bottom has this inlay. It's just really gorgeous. Um, and then you open it and this is the inside. And um, yeah, it's just a simple little box. And this box will be for sale and uh, it is beautiful. So this box is available for tomorrow night and uh, you can get lots of jewelry to put in it as well. So this box is available and then we will have uh this is a sterling and amber ring it is adjustable but as is it is at about a size eight um i really love it it is beautiful and then this amber stretch bracelet um it does have some uh, seed beads glass beads here but uh, amber chips and then beautiful amber focal. Um, I did have this, got this last weekend, but, and it was in one of the videos. It is beautiful. Um, and you can see the, really just how like beautiful the, that glows. Same with this one. This has a really nice glow to it too. You can see the green glow in that. <clears throat> really nice. Um, okay. And then I have a ton of jewelry. We'll do the necklaces last. Um, some of this is, uh, I did actually pull out from some old stock that I don't think anybody's seen before. This is a pair of actually sterling silver earrings that is uh, gold washed. Um, and this is, they're from a Turkish designer from the 70s, Selçuk, S-E-L-C-U-K. Um, you can see these in a very, very old video of mine. Um, but Selchuk, these are, these earrings are massive. You can see that. These are crazy cool. Um, these are sterling silver, just really, really cool. But these will be available. Really, very, very different cool earrings. Um, and then I will have, let's see, I'll try to do the earrings first. The mystery heart earrings, these will be available. I still have not figured this out. I know. I've gotten a lot of um, comments that it's Christian Lacroix. I don't know that they are. I just, I know that, yes, maybe, maybe so. And and if so, I think you might get a good deal on them, because, but I'm not convinced because I still, I've tried to find that this, this mark is Christian Lacroix, but I just, I'm not seeing it. I feel that that's an E and not a C. Um, I don't know. Let's see if I can get that to come up better. I really think that that's, I don't know, I can't get that angle right. But I feel like that's an E-L or an E-P. I just don't see the C in there. I don't know. Um, but... I thought maybe it was maybe Estee Lauder too. 
I know that they're sometimes do like a jewelry giveaway with some of the perfumes, I, but that's not ringing either. It does look like a Christian LaCroix earring, um, very similar to a lot of the other styles that I've seen Christian LaCroix do. So maybe it is, but it's not their cartouche. So I just don't know. Um, but those will be available tomorrow. So you could get a good deal on those. Um, these are really pretty clip earrings with the um, crystals. Those are beautiful. Those will be available. And then I will also have these clips with the matte gold and the uh, resin beads. Those will be available. These are clips as well. Very 1980s, oversized, long clips. I love these. These are awesome. Those are available. These are another great clip. Um, these are a great faceted glass, black glass clip. Unmarked, beautiful ear climbers. I love those. Those are available. Um, very 1980s. I will grab. I, I will try to grab that photograph of me. I swear to God, I have a photograph of me in this outfit that will match these. If I still had the outfit, I swear I would not be selling those. I, I'm telling you, I would not. Um, these adorable owl earrings. These are a little bit more modern. So cute. Those will be available. Love these. So sweet. So stinking sweet. Adorable. Um, these are very heavy glass ball earrings. Um, those will be available. I love these. Just super 80s. Very cool. Definitely statement. Um, awesome earrings. there for now and these little Bella fashion Bella earrings those will be available very 19 I'd say 1990s on those super cool um, these vintage Liz Claiborne are still on the card those will be available these Howard's nickel free earrings those will be available. These fun little earrings, um, very 80s gold tone. Those will be available. I love these oversized ones. So fun. Those Argons, Aragons, those will be available. And let's see, are those all the earrings I have? Those are all the earrings. I do still have tons of earrings though. So if you are looking for any type of earrings, just let me know, you know, just let me know in the comments. I can always bring out other ones. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely do have more earrings. So let me know. Um, I do have brooches and pendants still that I'm gonna show you and uh, uh, actually, and two watches. So let me do the watches really quick. This one is actually just a watch face. Um, this would go on any type of band or uh, type of, I guess, bracelet that you could just like put on your, uh, that would like wrap on your wrist. This is actually a vintage Suzanne Summers. That's the back, but it's a rhinestone frog. It is still working. Um, it's ticking right now. Look at that though. And you just kind of lift the face of them up. It's so cute. Um, it did come in the, when I got it in the auction, I got the, um, I got this with the, with the band, but the band was really not in good condition. So I did separate it, but um, you could put on like a leather band or something, separate leather band or uh, fabric band or whatever. It'd be super cute but I love this little frog, so fun. And then 
This is a Anne Klein watch. I normally don't deal with watches at all, but this was really nice. It did come to me in working order. Um, I don't have anything to change watch batteries. Um, I, I should probably get something, but I don't get a lot of watches, so I don't normally bother with it. Uh, but this is Anne Klein and it's in beautiful condition. And uh, it, it says that it's water resistant. I love the mother of pearl uh, face to it. It's got rhinestones all the way around, plus on like three links coming off of it, rhinestones. That is the back of it. It is scratched up a bit, um, but I'd give you a really great deal on this. Beautiful watch. So yeah. Um, and this is a Sterling and Vermeer uh, CZ bracelet, little tennis bracelet, really pretty. That will be available tomorrow. That is about seven inches in length. I will give you the exact measurements tomorrow, but it is about seven inches. All right, and then, um, oh, and one more bracelet. This is just a little, it's uh, inexpensive little plastic, but it is really cool. It's got the Asian kind of motif going around it. Faux jade, um, so it is the plastic jade, but super cool looking bracelet. So that will be available. All right. And then we have, this is a really great little AB fly or I don't know, some kind of bug uh, brooch. AB wings, little pink back to him. Now this does have, and I will show you the, right in between his little wings, I'm gonna grab the light maybe. There are two empty spots. Now it kind of looks like it may be missing stones, but then at the same time, I don't know that it actually is missing stones because it's also kind of a weird shape that I don't know that there would be stones there. So it might not be missing stones, but uh, good. I'll have a good price on him just in case. Um, this is another brooch, real pretty, a um, little pearl. Good condition in the pearl. This may be a replacement. It is a little off kilter. Um, but I will have a good price on that one. Um, this is really beautiful little Harlequin face brooch. And this is another little like clown face or mask. Um, this is a Dana Buckman rhinestone scarecrow. Really, really pretty. And this is a great little um, it's all pave crystals and pearl, little crystal in the center. It's really, really beautiful. And then I have, this is one of those houses by Lucinda, house pins by Lucinda. These are very collectible. This one's really cool. I love the colors in this and the little glitter in the background. I just think these are cool. Um, these are really collectible. Um, I think there's people that really go to town collecting them. Um, I think they're really cool. The ones that I've come across, they can be really fun. I love this one in particular just because of the glitter background and the palm tree um, and the colors actually, but I love the glitter background on this one. So um, I think this is a really cool one personally. Um, there will be this little sun right here really beautiful and then there will be this piece here now I do have another brooch that has this full painting um, like transfer painting that can be available as well if you love the painting I do have something that is actually a little bit more detailed than this but if you like this more like a uh, um, filigree look or you know kind of the shape of this this will be available very good price on this one this is a little like um, loose I would say like this kind of is loose it's not structurally nothing structurally going on with this but it's just kind of loose it moves around a bit um, 
but it's super pretty, very, very cool. And it's uh, very vintage. I mean, very vintage, very old, probably antique actually. Um, so this one's cool and I like the little tassel. So that will be available. And the Avon moth brooch will be available because you know, I love my bugs. That one's super cool. It's got little amethyst cabochons on there. The pearl's in perfect condition. Love that piece. I will also have this heart that has marcasites. And then on this side, there's really pretty pastel uh, rhinestones in there. Very, very, very pretty. And then this piece here, also very pretty. And it's a really cool elephant, trunk up. I was thinking that would be considered trunk down, but I guess it would be considered trunk up, um, which means uh, good, good luck. So very cool. And let's see, a few more pieces here. So this piece, I'm not gonna lie, I was disappointed in this piece. So this piece I got in my last auction win. This is, oh, that's just angel shaking. Um, this was uh, definitely upcycled. It's really beautiful. Um, but I believe this is a um, Originals by Robert. If you look, I'll turn on the little light on this. From the cartouche looks to be an originals by Robert um, I could probably open that up a little bit more and might be able to see it a little bit better let's see I think I would say that's an originals by Robert, right? Yeah. And yeah. And somebody, now granted, maybe the stones were coming out anyway, or some, I don't really know, but somebody decided it would be a great idea to put new stones in here and paint it. Um, and so um, if somebody loves it, this will be available at a great, great deal. Um, and otherwise we'll kind of, maybe we'll have a little round table over, over what we can do about it. I mean, I can try to, I can try to remove the paint and pop those stones out. The stones are actually really great condition and really good quality, to be honest. But the enameling has a little bit to be desired. I, it almost looks like nail polish. Sure. I don't know. Maybe I'll see if it's nail polish. If it's nail polish, maybe I'll just try to take it off tonight. So we'll see. We'll see what this looks like. But this will be available tomorrow. Um, next, I have, this is a sterling silver and amber pendant. Beautiful piece also. Glows very nicely. Um, this is sterling silver and amber that will be available tomorrow. A little pendant. Um, this keychain will be available. Super cool. This keychain is made by Barlow. This is actually Scrimshaw. Barlow keychains are collectible. Uh, there are people that actually collect these exclusively. Um, I did a little research on that. I did not know that, but, um, that is super cool, really interesting little piece. Um, I then have, this is a Trafari stick pin, um, still on its card, that will be available. And this is a sterling silver bar pin with CZs, that will be available. Um, and then I have, uh, actually, I'm not gonna grab the neck, I'm just gonna do this you guys can see it. I can do the neck tomorrow. But this is a Lisner choker. This will be available tomorrow. 
really cool piece about 15 inches it's a little small extender can be you know worn with it so you can always get an extender super cool piece though listener choker this is the coro light choker this can go out to about 17 inches this is actually like a super light gold it almost looks like silver so it can kind of like transition um, really cool Coralite and this is um, if you're not familiar with Coralite came out in like the 60s um, and it has the Pegasus uh, and made by Coral uh, and it has the Pegasus Coralite you can see the Pegasus right there Coralite but super cool. Um, Coralite is collectible for people who love Coro. Um, it's a lighter weight necklace, not super heavy, very much lighter than that listener. Um, uh, very comfortable to wear, really pretty. This is the Sterling Silver Goddess Pendant. If you saw my unboxing um, that I did uh, with Kristen D, uh, she sent me a bunch of pieces. This is something that she sent me. This is a goddess pendant. This is done with sterling silver. The centerpiece is uh, garnet. It's beautiful. So that will be available. And then last but not least, this is a really cool piece. This is a key pendant on a silver, a silver tone necklace done by Alexander Califano. This is the key, and this is the tag that was on it. Alexander Califano, Las Vegas. Really beautiful piece, um, brand new, and uh, gorgeous little key pendant. So the, all of this will be available tomorrow during my live sale, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 5.30 p.m. Pacific. I hope to see everybody there. Um, it was so much fun last week, and uh, I hope it will be just as much fun tomorrow. So please don't miss it. I hope to see everybody uh, tomorrow night, 8.30 p.m. Or I'm sorry, um, 8 p.m. I'm so sorry, 8 p.m. tomorrow, uh, 5 Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. So 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, live sale, and it will be lots of fun. Please don't miss it, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye, everybody.